Hello YouTube, this is Rhino Dan. And the puddle I went through was a little deeper than I expected. So this is my uh, Pan America, Pan America Special 2023. So I definitely got it right around the Harley Davidson 120 mark, but I don't think it matters, 120 years. I love this bike. I truly do, and it's been a long time since I've loved a motorcycle as much as this. I think my R3 was probably the last bike that I truly, truly loved. And this bike right here does it all. And I went off-road through the gravel. I went on the street today. I went through... I don't know if you can see all that rain. and I mean, not rain, but all that mud and stuff. Like, I went through a deep puddle. My boots. My boots are all muddy. They get all wet. They don't have rain boots. So I'm going to have to get some rain gear. Or boots that are meant to get through water, because... That puddle, I didn't think it was that deep, and I actually went into my boots. This bike's amazing. And it took it like a champ, and I was on sport mode. I didn't even put it in the off-road mode, and it was great. It was fantastic. And I know that you're going to ask me, like, why would you get the Pan America? But the reason why is for comfort. It's This bike's tall, so from the pegs to the seat... I raised the seat up an inch, so I got plenty of room. I was on the bike today for, I don't know, two and a half, three hours off and on, and I'm fine. My hips may be a little bit tender, but it's not bad, considering I haven't been on a motorcycle this long in a long time. Oh, goodness. And when I had my last bike... Just from my house to the freeway, I was screaming to put my legs on the crash bar just to give me some relief. Not today, though. This bike did great. I know it's a little pricey, but all adventure bikes that are of this size are pricey. Like the BMW's, same price. I mean, all these bikes are pricey, and this bike actually does pretty good. And I sat on the... I went to Kawasaki, and I sat on... I think it was like the Suzuki Versus. I'm not very um, sure, but that bike was really tall, even for me, and it made my other hip hurt, which was kind of weird. So the next day, my my good hip was on was in pain, just trying to get my leg over the bike. And this right here has adaptive ride height, which means that the ride height changes when you're at a stop sign or like right now, and then it's pretty cool. I think I could probably show you. So, just got about 400 miles on the bike. When I get to 500, yeah, right here, there's that little bleaking thing. It's my adaptive ride height. And what happens is, is that the ride height changes and it's pretty cool. And it makes it a lot easier for me to get on and off. And I think that's the thing that I was missing from the verses, because otherwise you'd have to step on and then mount it like you're mounting a horse or a dirt bike and I don't know if I want to go through all that and I'm sure I could have figured it out but this bike's really comfortable I took it through the twisties I'm sorry I don't have any footage because I have my good awry helmet right now so uh, I know I'm all over the place with my train of thought but I have the good awry helmet right now and I don't have the camera mounts or nothing like that so not until later so I'm leaving that alone but until I do so, I'm not going to have any riding footage. But we'll see. I know that some of the Pan Americas have issues in the past. We're going to see if this one does or not. And well, here we are for the journey. But I did really good in the twisties. I went through my favorite back roads and it was fantastic. I don't know if you can see right here. Like almost to the edge. It's not bad. Oh, the brakes in this bike are amazing. Oh my goodness. So I was rolling up through a blind corner and there was this bike, there was this uh, construction work that didn't flag off and I was able to stop. No problems. This bike has good Brembo brakes, good equipment. This bike's great. Totally happy with my decision of trading it in. And with all the mud on it, I know I have to clean it up. And that's going to be a joy. But now you can say that I've done some adventure riding. So I was off-road a little bit and got it muddy. It was pretty awesome. 
All right, YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your time. And uh, we'll, I'll make some more videos, and we'll see how the adventure goes with having the Pan America. But so far, this bike's pretty sick. And I'm really excited to be a Pan America owner. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year's, too. We'll see what this year brings for us. Bye.